time for us to switch conversations a little bit because there is something called uh, um, Honda Repair Ton, and that is coming up sometime very soon. Now, the purpose of it is to offer free airbag um, re repairs at in Trinidad and Tobago, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. I'm kind of excited about it because um, I, I'm going to admit that I'm not the, the most informed when it comes to, to vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> so I have with me Daryl Young, who is the general manager of Honda, and also Joel Pengo, customer service uh, care and service manager at Honda. Gentlemen, good morning and welcome. Morning, morning, morning. 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 So, so the Takata airbag yeah. um, had some defects and that yes. was recalled. Right, so what we're doing is we're hosting an event which is basically geared to promote awareness in the island. Mm -hmm. uh, Takata was one of the three largest manufacturers of airbags in the world. And what has been found is that certain airbag inflators have been found to be defective. Mm -hmm. In particular units, select models uh, in the Honda brand as well as multiple brands. These, num these units range from vehicles in our Honda and Acura from 2001 to 2016. Yeah. And these explosions with the airbags, of course, some real concern for people. So they what have. I understand, 300 people were they injured. There have been 300 significant injuries and just about 23 deaths globally. Yeah. So why must action be taken now? Well, just to go back a little more, um, these, just to be clear in the mind of the customers mm. that it's not really the airbag we're going to be replacing, it's a metallic canister, which is packed with a chemical propellant, and it actually detonates on its own in the event of an accident on its own. So it's very fatal, and in some cases, very serious injuries could occur. Uh, have we heard about that in Trinidad? Fortunately, Fortunately not. Fortunately not. No. Yeah, that is some good news. So because of that, we need to take action. Take action, like now. <laughs> what, so what sort of action is being taken? Yes, you're going to have the, um, the repair return. Right, so the repair return is first of its kind in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, it has been hosted throughout the world. Um, we're asking them to come into Taruba, Brian Lara Stadium, on the 21st to the 23rd. Mm -hmm. It's a three-day event. And then we're going to come to Port of Spain at the Jean Pierre Complex for a five-day event. What was the response like in other countries for an event like this? Well, it's actually been quite positive. Um, obviously, the promotion is, is very, very <laughs> widespread, very, very robust, very rigorous. Uh, we actually went and attended the, the fourth one in Puerto Rico, Rico mm -hmm. about a month ago. And the two days we, we were there, they saw at least 300-odd uh, people that were affected and additional 300 people that were not affected. Jamaica has already hosted two, and they've uh, dealt with over 1,500 vehicles already. Yeah, because uh, this is, of course, a major concern. What type of vehicles are most at risk? All right, so uh, it's certain 2001 to 2016. Mm -hmm. That's the, the year range. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the models vary from Civic, Accord, Fit, CRV. So that's so the if, in which if we'll there wasn't any issue with it uh, bef between this period since you bought the vehicle, you know, right. should we be concerned still? Of course. I mean, 2001 to is, is a long time ago. Right. So though we didn't have any incidents, we, as a company, we're trying to be proactive. Mm -hmm. So that is the reason for the repair time. Yeah. We actually want to accelerate the completion rate because we were afforded a VIN listing from Japan. Mm -hmm. Right. And we're going to try to see how best we can bring in all those customers on that listing. If I may just add, it's very important to note that the climate of Trinidad is actually very conducive to the inflator detonating on its own. The heat and the humidity actually mm -hmm. oxidizes the canister. Uh, it's also important that we uh, that the public know that we are addressing all grey market vehicles, i.e., that is roll on roll off yeah. customers, to please come in to see us. It is a free airbag exchange. We want to see everybody coming in. We need to see everybody to to make sure you're okay. Yeah. And this process to do the repair, how long does it normally take? All right. So we have we have it stated as 45 minutes. Um, there's also there's the driver side as well as the passenger side. The passenger side will probably take. 45 minutes, the driver's side is a little shorter, 20 minutes, so. Yeah. So, I and it is for all vehicles imported into Trinidad and Tobago? Yes. Yeah. Um, the repair a ton, you know, you mentioned it, it t took place around uh, different countries. Yeah. I mean, this event, the people coming out, you mentioned what, about 600? We, that is what we, they saw in two days. In two days. We actually in Trinidad have a listing that exceeds 8,000 people. 8, the drive actually began back in way back before 2015, and to date, we have about a 50% completion rate in Trinidad. Do you think we can get that many done? Well, as long as, as it takes, we have to. The, the target is actually 100% because you're talking about a potential death. So the target is 100%. Uh, and this is a free event? 
and this is a free event. Yeah. And is it for if people, you know, um, they, they come, they might have a long wait, uh, you know, mm. accommodation like for parking and that kind of Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. There's parking, there's light refreshments, there's air conditioned tent. Free giveaways. Free giveaways. Yeah. Yeah. What are we giving away? Uh, are, are we getting a car? Are we getting a car? Are we getting a car? Because I would love to come down there and, yeah, and yeah. get myself a giveaway too. All right. Um, just, just to note, we'll also have factory trained technicians mm. coming mm. from the U.S. We have a huge U.S. contingent coming to Trinidad from this week. As well as our local factory trained technicians as well. So right. we'll have and a full complement of technicians there to try and get people in and out. Yeah. And and this event itself is taking place. It's two days. Three days in, three days. in San Fernando, okay. two more Brian Lara Stadium, and five days in Jean Pierre yeah, Complex. So two sessions, two, right. two, correct, two correct, batches. Correct. Um, the information for the first one at Brian Lara. Right. It's, it's eight AM to five PM to probably just zoom in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So Brian Lara Cricket Academy. Right. Um, so from the 21st to the 23rd, which is this Thursday, mm -hmm. and it's going to start at 8 a.m. and finish at 5 p.m. We may probably go later, depending on the crowds. Yeah. Oh, and, and they may go later. Yeah. So that is something for people to look out to. Is there like, so people just drive in and they can yeah. be inspected? We, what we'll do is we'll check you in and we'll confirm if you are affected or if you aren't. If you are affected, We'll send in one direction. If you're not, we'll send you out your way as quickly as possible. Okay, and you know, 45 minutes, you may mm -hmm. have a little wait. There, there are giveaways, so you can definitely go down there for that. And then um, the 26th to the 30th of March, uh, that's Tuesday to Saturday mm -hmm. at the Gym Complex. Uh, right, so um, that, that, that remember exactly, exactly well. what's going to happen in San Fernando. Yeah. So that's for a longer period. And if people want more information, they can call Classic Motors at 625-4101. Or three seven seven one four eight one. You can also check out the website hundredtrinidad.net slash recalls and you can get all of the information there. Um tell me something. Mm -hmm. You know, why is this initiative so important for classic motors? Because at the end of the day, first of all, Honda takes safety very seriously. Honda is rated as one of the top safety brands and it's one of the greatest pillars that they have. Secondly, this is a life threatening injury, potentially life threatening injury, apart from significant uh, injury, it is life threatening. So we really need you to come out so we could get a look at your car and check to see if you're affected. Right. And people need to know the importance of the airbags as well. Right, of yes. course. What is the importance of it? Um, that's safety. It's it's life. Life we're talking about here. <laughs> and and it has saved lives in the past. Of course. Absolutely. All right, gentlemen. I would like to thank you all for coming and sharing this information with us. Remember, um, on March 21st to 23rd at the Brian Lara Cricket Stadium in Taruba, and then from March 26th to 30th. Uh, Jim Bear Complex, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., and they may go a little bit later. Go uh, check it out. Um, make sure and inspect your vehicles. All right, th gentlemen, thank you very much. Daryl Young, much. who is the general manager of Honda, Joel Penko, who is the customer care service manager. Thank you both for coming on and joining us. Thank